Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. And make sure to stick until the end of the video where I have two bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have 5 to the power of x plus 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 5 to the power of x is equal to 1. So now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out 5 to the power of x. So now 5 to the power of x divided by 5 to the power of x is 1. So I have 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. This is equal to 1. Now if I simplify what's in the parentheses, if 5 to the power of x times 5 is equal to 1. Now 5 here, this is the same thing as 5 to the power of 1. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m plus n. So 5 to the power of x times 5 to the power of 1, that's going to equal 5 to the power of x plus 1. This is equal to 1. Now 1 here, this is actually the same thing as 5 to the power of 0, because anything to the power of 0 equals 1. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, then this means that m is equal to n. So this means that x plus 1 is equal to 0. And now to solve this, I'm going to subtract by 1 on both sides, so I get x is equal to negative 1. Now another way to do this is, so I have 5 to the power of x plus 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 5 to the power of x is equal to 1. So this is the same thing as 5 to the power of x times 5, right? So now I'm going to go ahead and divide by 5 on both sides. So now I have 5 to the power of x is equal to 1 over 5. Now if I have something in the form 1 over a to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of negative n. In this case I have 1 over 5 to the power of 1, so this is the same thing as 5 to the power of negative 1. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n, so this in this case x is equal to negative 1. Now to check, original equation was 5 to the power of x plus 5 to the power of x. I'm not going to say all that, but that is our original equation, is equal to 1, and we have x is equal to negative 1. So now I have 5 to the power of negative 1 plus 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 5 to the power of negative 1 is equal to 1. Now, 5 to the power of negative 1, if I have something in the form a to the power of negative n, this is the same thing as 1 over a to the power of n. So 5 to the power of negative 1, that's going to equal 1 over 5. So I have 1 over 5 plus 1 over 5 plus 1 over 5 plus 1 over 5 plus 1 over 5 is equal to 1. Now if I factor out 1 over 5 from this, I have 1 over 5 times 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. Now if I simplify with some parentheses, I get 1 over 5 times 5 is equal to 1. And anything times its reciprocal is simply 1, so I have 1 is equal to 1. And because this is right, our solution is right as well. Alright, so I have x to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of x plus 25. So if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, I have 5 to the power of x plus 25. So this is going to equal 5 to the power of x times 5 to the power of 25. Now, I can go ahead and divide both sides by 5 to the power of x. So then these two cancel out, and I'll have x to the power of x over 5 to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of 25. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a, or sorry, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So in this case, I have x to the power of x over 5 to the power of x, so this is going to equal x over 5 
to the power of x, which is equal to 5 to the power of 25. Now, I'm going to take the power of 1 over 5 on both sides. So now I have x over 5 to the power of x. So the power of 1 over 5 is equal to 5 to the power of 25 to the power of 1 over 5. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So x over 5 to the power of x to the power of 1 over 5, that's going to equal x over 5 to the power of x times 1 over 5, and 25 sorry, 5 to the power of 25 to the power of 1 over 5, that's going to equal 5 to the power of 25 times 1 over 5. Now, x times 1 over 5, that's simply x over 5. And 25 times 1 over 5 is simply 5. So now, if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, then this means that a is equal to b. So in this case, I have x over 5 to the power of x over 5 is equal to 5 over 5. This means that x over 5 is equal to 5. Now I'm going to go ahead and multiply 5 on both sides. So now I have x is equal to 5 times 5, which is 25. So 25 is our answer. Now to check, our original equation was x to the, x to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of x plus 25. And x is equal to 25, so now I have 25 to the power of 25 is equal to 5 to the power of 25 plus 25. Now 25 plus 25 is 50, so I have 25 to the power of 25 is equal to 5 to the power of 50. So now 25 I can replace with 5 squared, because 25 is the same thing as 5 squared. So now I have 5 squared to the power of 25 is equal to 5 to the power of 50. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 5 to the power of 2 to the power of 25, that's going to equal 5 to the power of 2 times 25. 2 times 25 is 50, so I have 5 to the power of 50 is equal to 5 to the power of 50. And this is right, so our solution is right as well. All right, so I have x to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2048. Now, to start, 2048, this is the same thing as 2 times 1024. So I can substitute in 2 times 1024 for 2048. So now I have x to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2 times 1024. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m to the power of n. So in this case, 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 1024, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 1024. And now 2 squared, that's simply equal to 4. So I have x to the power of x is equal to 4 to the power of 1024. Now 1024, this is the same thing as 2 times 512. So now I have x to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2 times 512. And now this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 512. Or sorry, it's going to be 4. Now 4 to the power of 2 is equal to 16. So now I have x to the power of x is equal to 16 to the power of 512. And as you guys may notice, this is a pattern. We're simply replacing the, whatever the x one in it is but with the exponent, or sorry, the exponent divided by 2 times 2. So 512, for example, 512 divided by 2, that's going to equal 256. And 512 is the same thing as 256 times 2. So then we simply replace that 
of 512, so we have 16 to the power of 256 times 2. And now we are simply putting this in the form 16 squared to the power of 256. 16 squared, that's 16 times 16, which is 256. So now I have 256 to the power of 256. And if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, then this means that a is equal to b. And in this case, I have x to the power of x is equal to 256 to the power of 256, meaning x is equal to 256. Now to check, original equation was x to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2048. And now we have 256. So I have 256 to the power of 256 is equal to 2 to the power of 2048. Now 256, this is the same thing as, well, 2 to the, 2 to the power of x is equal to 256. We want to find the value of x. Well, let's first start with 2 to the power of 5. This is equal to 32 meaning 2 to the power of 6, this is equal to double of 32, which is 64, meaning 2 to the power of 7, this is equal to double of 64, which is 128, and 2 to the power of 8, this is equal to double of 128, which is 256. So x in this case is 8. So now I'm going to replace 256 with 2 to the power of 8. So I have 2 to the power of 8 to the power of 256 is equal to 2 to the power of 2024. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So a to the power a times 256, that's 2048. So now I have 2 to the power of 2048 is equal to 2 to the power of 2048, and this is right. So our so solution is right.